All right, hi third graders. So today I'm going to be showing you how we're going to be doing our background for our balloons. And with our background, we're also going to show perspective, that atmospheric perspective, how it gets lighter and lighter and lighter as things go back. So I have, I know it's hard to see, but I have my name on the back and make sure you put your class code on there too. And so I'm going to flip my paper over. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you a larger brush because the ones that come with your watercolors are um, are a little too small for this project. So I have my water cup and then today I'm going to be giving you a plate of paint. There's going to be white on one side and then there's going to be green on the other. All right, so when we're painting, first of all, I want you to have your paper the vertical way. If you want to do the horizontal way, that's fine too. Um, but I'm going to show you in the vertical way. So, all right, so when we're painting, we want to always work from background to middle ground to foreground. In painting, it's just best to work from the back to the front. Then you can overlap and layer things, and it just makes it easier for painting purposes. All right, so in the background, I'm getting my brush wet. I always like to get my brush wet before I start because uh, then it allows the brush to glide across the paper. All right, so since we're working in the background, what we want to do first is I'm going to get um, a brush full of white and I'm just going to create some clouds. It's kind of up to you. Well, it is up to you. It's up to you how these clouds look. If you want them to look kind of wispy, um, if you want them to look like really, really puffy, it is up to you because clouds look all different. I'm going to even have some going off the page because that's part of a good composition is if you have things going off of the page. It just makes it look a little bit more realistic. Maybe put one down here up to you how many just make sure you have some clouds in there all right so I stopped kind of sort of in the middle because now I'm gonna start to uh, add the kind of hills in the background you don't have to have to have the hills make it look exactly like my hills but um, I want you to kind of follow the steps with the colors because we're gonna show atmospheric perspective all right so for this um, and so when we start to when we start to mix our paint, we're not going to mix it all into one color because we're going to show three different types of green in this um, in this background. All right, so I'm just going to keep adding my green to my white to get different uh, tints of green. So I'm going to take a scoop of green and then I am going to mix this into the entire, into the entire white. That's why I had to do the clouds first. So it's creating, I know it's a little hard to see on the screen, but it's creating kind of a light green, maybe a little bit more if it's too light. Maybe I could darken this up. Oh, now you're starting to be able to see the, the light green. Very good, awesome. So then, and if you need to draw it out in pencil first, like that's fine, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Why not? So I'm gonna make kind of like a kind of a hill kind of line, and then I'm just gonna paint down a little bit. Make sure all of that blue is covered. You don't have to go all the way down. You'll kind of see later. If you get paint on the table, I'm getting paint on my sides of the table. That's okay. And so you're just gonna paint down just a little bit Make sure your strokes are nice and smooth side to side. Now what I'm going to do, now that I'm done, this is going to be the hill that is far off in the distance. It's getting lighter in space because it's so far off in the distance. Now I'm going to take another big scoop of green. I'm going to mix that and oh, I can tell a difference. That's what you want is to tell your difference in between colors. I can even take a little bit more. There we go. Now we got our medium green. And then the hills can go in a different way. Maybe I want them to go up this way and up this way again. Make sure that white space is covered. I'm gonna bring that paint down a little bit. And then we have our 
hill that's in the middle ground. And then let's see, I'm just going to, in case my last hill goes a little bit lower, I'm just going to make sure I cover that all up. All right. And so for the last hill, notice I didn't even kind of really wash off my brush in between this. That's okay. Cause all you're doing is just keep adding green to make darker and darker green. All right. So for my last green, I'm going to use the brightest, the boldest stuff. That's just the regular green. If you have some white that's mixed in there, that is okay. No worries. Cause it's still a nice dark green. And then I'm going to be making my hills for the last one. Just kind of going over that a little more. So the medium green doesn't get mixed in too much. It's going to happen a little bit. Oop, I made a oopsie. I'll show you how to fix that. Happy accidents. Paint that all the way down to the bottom. All right, I'm going to go back into my medium green. Just going to kind of blend that in so that like never happened. And then even I have some of this light green. Just kind of bring that up. There we go. Almost like it never even happened. All right, so then make sure that you wash off your brush and your water cup really, really good. And when you're at the sink, make sure you wash these out and then you uh, put them in the uh, dirty bin in my uh, on my cart. All right, so then you're gonna take this to the drying rack and we're gonna let it dry. All right, thanks for watching.